Hello everyone, today we will be discussing how to find multiplicative inverse of a given number with respect to modulo prime number. So here the prime number is 397 and uh, the given number is 395. So in order to find multiplicative inverse, we are going to use extended Euclidean algorithm. Extended Euclidean algorithm. Okay. So, when we are going to consider extended Euclidean algorithm, let us follow the procedure and note on the table that is the first column of the table will be the quotient Q and then we are having the number in columns a1, a2, a3 and the next one is b1, b2 and b3 and the next one is the remainders r1, r2, r3. So here we can observe that Whenever we are going to perform Euclid, extended Euclidean algorithm, A1, A represents the larger number and B represents the smaller number and R represents the remainder when A, B, sorry, A is expressed in terms of B and quotient because we know that any larger number A can be written as smaller number into quotient plus reminder. So here R1, R2, R3 represent reminders. B1, B2, B2 represents smaller number. A1, A2, A3 represents larger number and Q represents the quotient. A1 actually represents the initial value that is initially uh, if I want to represent a uh, when only Reminder is expressed in terms of A, means reminder is equal to A, means uh, quotient B will be 0. So, 0 into quotient plus R will be equal to A because we can express 1 is equal to 0 into Q plus R. So, according to this, we are going to get R is equal to 1. So, I can express reminder in terms of A. So, for that I will be having A1 is equal to 1 and B1 is equal to 0. And the next one, uh, here we are considering A2. A2 uh, can be, uh, after representing a reminder in terms of A, the next thing is we have to represent reminder in terms of B. Means, here we made reminder is equal to A. The next step what we are going to consider is your reminder must be equal to B. So how we can express reminder must be equal to B? In that case, we will going to consider A equals 0 and B will be equal to, sorry, reminder will be equal to B into Q plus R. So now what I am going to get since A is 0, I will be getting B, okay, and the quotient must be equal to minus 1 plus R. So, according to this, I can able to write B is equal to R because this will become minus B. Minus B, when I take it to the LH side, we are going to get B equals R. So, as a result here what I can observe A must be equal to 0 and B must be equal to 1. If I if the value of B is 1 and I want to express reminder in terms of B. So initially I have to initiate uh, A2 the second value. 
A1 represents the first iteration and A2 represents the second iteration. So according to that, A2 must be 0 and A, B2 must be equal to 1. And the next one, what we are considering is, now we have to find multiplicative inverse. So in order to find multiplicative inverse, as I told, A will be always representing the larger number. We are going to get the value of A3 must be initially equal to P, which is nothing but 397 in this case. Okay. And the smallest number is 395, for which I need to find the remainder. So according to that, first I need to find out the quotient. I am having the value A and I am having the value B. And the next thing is, I want to find out the remainder and quotient. So for that, you divide 397 by 395. So when we divide this by 395, we will be getting the quotient as 1 and remainder as 2. So according to that, here I will be considering the quotient as 1 and this remainder as 2. So now we know that when I can express A as B into Q plus R. Now, according to this, I can also express R is equal to A minus B into Q. Okay. So, using this, you find out the remainder. What is the remainder? Remainder R1 is equal to A1 minus B1 into Q. So, here, Reminder R1 is equal to A1 minus B1 into Q. Okay. So here uh, A1 is 1, 1 and B1 is 0. So 1 minus 0 into 1 is 1 only. So I am going to add the value 1. And A, similarly R2 is equal to A2 minus b1 in b2 into q since a2 is 0 according to this expression r2 is equal to a2 minus b2 into q so here a2 is 0 and b2 is 1 so 0 minus 1 into 1 is nothing but minus 1 now, here the remainder R3 is not equal to 1 or 0. If the remainder R3 is equal to 1, it indicates that the previous remainder R2 will be the inverse. Okay. So if it is not equal to 1 and if it is equal to 0, it indicates that there is no inverse for the given number. Since we are considering the largest number as prime, all the number which are less than a prime number will be having a multiplicative inverse. So now let us find out the multiplicative inverse. As I told, the remainder is not equal to 0 means, 0 or 1 means we have to repeat the process until we should get the value 1 or 0. So how to repeat the process? since we have already divided larger number by smaller number. So for the next iteration, which one is the larger number? B3 will be the larger number and smaller number will be R3. Remember, as we discussed in Euclidean algorithm, to find GCD, what we used to do? We used to take the larger number and smaller number as uh, A and B. And for the next iteration, B will become A and remainder will become B. In the same way here, B will become A. So in this column, I will be writing the columns present in B1, B2 and B3. That is 3910, sorry, 01395. And here 
B must be equal to R, smaller number. So it is 1 minus 1, 2. So now, once again, we have to find out the quotient. So how to find out the quotient? You quotient will be equal to A3 divided by B3. And you take only integer part. Okay, this is a this symbol is known as floor. Okay, so floor will going to give only the smallest integer nearest to the given to the obtained real number. That is uh, Q is equal to integer part. integer less than uh, okay so you just take only integer part okay so now when i consider the integer part so here actually we have to perform 395 divided by 2. So how much we are going to get? 2 ones are 2 and 2 nines are 18 and And two a sevens fourteen. Two sevens fourteen. So we are going to get the remainder as one. So now I'll just write the remainder here. And what is the quotient? Quotient is one ninety seven. So now I need to find, since the remainder R3 is equal to 1, previous remainder will be the inverse. Okay. So now what I have to do, I need to find out R1 and R2. R1 will be equal to A1 minus B1 into Q. A1 is 0, B1 is 1. So 0 minus, so that is A1 minus B1 into Q. So A1 is 0 and B1 is 1 into 197. So what we are going to get? We are going to get minus 197. So the value is minus 197. And now R2. R2 means I will be getting R2 is equal to A2 minus B2 into Q where A2 is 1 minus B2 is minus 1 into 197. So this will become 1 plus 197 which is nothing but 198. So here I am going to write the value 198. Since R3 is 1, the multiplicative inverse is 198. So, inverse of 395 is equal to 198. Okay. This is how we are going to consider. And how you will verify whether you have obtained the correct answer or wrong answer. So for that, what you have to do is, you have to multiply 395 into 198 and then take mod 397, that is P. So here, what we are going to get when we multiply these two numbers, that is 395 into 198 so we are going to get 
सेवन एट टू वन जीरो ओके फॉर दैट यू हैव टू टेक मॉड थ्री नाइंटी सेवन हाउ टू फाइंड मॉड थ्री नाइंटी सेवन to find out mod 397 mod is nothing but the remainder so you divide the number from 397 that is nothing but 78210 so now let me consider 397 into 2 is 794 so i cannot consider 2 so i'll just consider quotient as 1 and i'll be getting 397 Okay, twelve minus seven is five, and here I'll take a borrow, so I'll be getting. Uh, this will become seven. Seven plus ten is seventeen. Seventeen minus nine will be eight, and this will become six. Six minus three is three, and now I'll get this one down. And now I need to find out the quotient. That is three ninety seven into nine. I think ah into nine. If I multiply by nine, then I am going to get the value as. Three five seven three. So we will be getting this number, and now you subtract larger number from smaller number. Mm -hmm. Subtract smaller number from larger number. So we'll be getting eleven minus three is eight, and here four. Uh, the, here I've taken a borrow, so we are going to get uh, four. Oh, that is fourteen minus seven as seven, and this will become seven. Seven minus two is five. Sorry, seven minus five is two. Okay, and now we are having zero. You get this zero down. So now let me consider three ninety seven into eight. No, into seven. Yeah. Three ninety seven into seven is we are having the value two seven seven nine. So now you can see that the remainder is small. So what it indicates here we are having the remainder as one. So when I multiply two numbers and take modulus of the given prime number p. If the modulus is equal to one, then your answer is correct. Otherwise, your answer is wrong. Okay, this is how we can able to verify whether we have found out correct multiplicative inverse or not. Let me consider another example. Okay, so let me consider the another example. So here, I will be considering an example where I am going to get a negative number. Okay. So I will just take same prime number. P is equal to three ninety. Seven, and let me take multiplicative inverse of two thirty. Okay, mod three ninety seven. So now this is the quotient, and this is a one, a two, a three, and next I'm having b one, b two. B three. Next, I'm having R one, R two, and R three. Okay. So now 
a1 will be 1 0 and it is equal to prime number 397 a3 this will be 0 1 and 230 okay so now i need to find out quotient so what is quotient quotient is equal to a3 divided by b3 and take integer part this operation is known as floor okay floor will give the nearest lower integer okay so now what i'm going to do i'll going to do 397 by 230. So 397 by 230. I will be getting 1.726. And floor operator of this will going to give you 1. Because the integer part is 1. So my quotient Q is equal to 1. And I need to find out the remainder. How to find the remainder? Remainder will be equal to A3 minus Q into B3. Okay. So here, uh, 397 minus 230 into 1. That is nothing but 167 and here r1 is a1 minus b1 into q a1 is 1 b1 is 0 so we are going to get the value 1 and r2 is a2 minus b2 into q since a2 is 0 b2 is 1 we are going to get minus 1 okay and now let me consider the value of a is equal to b because the remainder is not equal to 1. So, I need to repeat the process until the remainder must become equal to 1. Okay. So, now here also we can observe that the quotient is 1 and the remainder that is 230 minus 167 the remainder is 63 so now here what is r1 r1 is a1 minus b into q that is minus 1 and a2 minus b2 into q that is 1 minus of minus 1 into 1 so we are going to get 2 and since the remainder is not 0 you shift this one and this is minus 1, 2 and 63. So now you find out the corresponding quotient. So here when we do 167 by 63, we will be getting the quotient as 2 and remainder as 7 minus 6 is 1, 6 minus 2 is 4. So the remainder is 41 and now the quotient is 2. So now what is R2? A minus B into Q. So here A1 is 1 minus of minus 1 into 2 that is 1 minus of minus 1 into 2 1 into 2 which is equal to 3 so here I am going to get 3 and this is minus 1 in minus of 2 into 2 that is minus 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 5 so we are getting the value minus 5. Since remainder is not 0, repeat the process. So here minus 1, 
I'll be taking L2. This is 63 and this is 3 minus 5 and 41. So now again 63 divided by 41 means the quotient is 1 and with the remainder is not 0. So let me do 63 minus 41. So remainder is 22. And now what is R1? R1 is A1 minus B1 into R2. That is minus 1 minus of 2 into 1. So we are going to get minus 3. And what is R2? R2 is A2 minus B2 into Q. So this will be 2 plus 5 which is nothing but 7. Repeat the process as quotient I mean remainder is not 1. So we are getting minus 3, 7, 22. So here also we will be getting the quotient as 1 because 22 into 2 is 44. So, the reminder what we are going to get is 19. And here what is R1? R1 is 3 minus of minus 3. So, we are going to get 6. R2 minus 5 minus of 7 into 1. That is minus 1. Now, Minus 3, 7, 22, 36, minus 12, 19. Here also we can see the quotient is 1. And what is the remainder? 22 minus 19 means we are going to get the remainder as 3. Right? So now here what is R1? R1 will be equal to minus 3 minus of 6 into 1 means minus 9. And R2 is 7 minus of minus 12. So 7 minus of minus 12 is 7 plus 12. So 7 plus 12 is 19. Now once again repeat the process that is 6 minus 12, 19 and here minus 9, 19 and 3. So now let me find the quotient that is 3 divided by 19. 3, 6 are 18, right? So the remainder will be 1. And then here, what we are going to get? Quotient as 6. So, we will be having remainder R1 as 6 minus of minus 9. That is nothing but 6 minus of minus 9 into 6. How much we are going to get? 6 minus into minus is plus we are going to get 6 plus 9 into 6 that is nothing but 60 so here we are having 60 and what is r2 r2 will be minus 12 minus of 19 into 6 so, we are going to get minus 126. Okay. So, now since R3 is equal to 1, the inverse is minus 126. So, when we get a negative number, in that case, we have to bring it into the range 0 to 1, I mean 0 to 390 
8 because the prime number is 397 the remainders will be in the range 0 to 398 so now let me consider the inverse of 230 is equal to minus 126 more 9 397 in this case what we have to do we simply subtract 126 from the number p so what we are going to get 397 minus 126 so we are having 7 minus 6 is 1 9 minus 2 is 7 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so the answer is 271 okay so now if the answer is 271 i need to verify whether 271 is proper inverse of 230 so what i'm going to do i'll be taking 230 into 271 and then i'm going to take more 397 okay so now what we are going to get here what is the product 230 into 271 is 62330 so now i need to take more 397 so how i will take more you divide the number from 397 that is 6233 3. so now let me consider 6233 330 6233 0 divided by 397 so my quotient will be 157 okay so now you multiply 397 into 157 what we are going to get we are going to get 62329 and we can clearly observe that the remainder is 1 okay so as a result One twenty-seven, sorry, two seventy-one is the multiplicative inverse of two thirty. Okay, this is how we can able to find out multiplicative inverse of a given number.